Okay. So your test. A lot of us have no idea what we are doing. So the first question says you must list all the elements of the universal set. That is everything that is there. And you should always try to list these things in order. So one, two, three, five, six. What else is there? Eight and nine. And you should not forget to put them in curly brackets. And what is not in B? One, three, and eight. Most of you got that one right as well, right? Now, when you have this, what does this N mean? Hmm? Intercept. There's N. That that the number of elements. So you're looking for an exact number. So that answer you're not going to put it in in brackets. Okay? So the intercept of A and B is this five and nine. Am I right? Yes? So what is not how many of these elements are not intercepting? There are five. You count them. So the only thing you were supposed to write here was just five. This one is a little bit tricky. On a map, uh, a distance of 20 kilometers was presented. So the first thing that you need to do here, right? I think I did it for a few people on their paper. Um, let's work with what we know. One kilometer to meters to centimeters. Yes? If you go from kilometer to meter, you multiply by what? By a thousand. The word kilos is your hint. Meters to centimeters. So when you go all the way from kilometer to centimeter, what are you multiplying with? I mean, that's five zeros. Why are you saying 10,000? Gee, man. So 20 kilometers, if you multiply 20 kilometers by 100,000, You'll get 2 million. Yeah? So now it means you have got 80 centimeter versus 2 million centimeter. And when you are here, you just divide by 80 because you want your answer in the form 1 is 2. And that will be 25,000. Yeah, that 1 zero means a lot. What did you write? 25,000. What did you write? Let me see. Yeah, I must take away three marks. I'll do that. It's okay. On honesty is the best policy. When you see your mark in red, it means you are failing. Let's go back to our test. All right. So that's how you were supposed to do that one. Question three. I don't know. People don't understand these text things first. You see this amount here. The 15,000, are you following? 720, and the 3,450. This is a monthly, not a monthly, but a yearly fee that should not be taxed. So what you need to do here, you must say 425,000. You subtract 3,450 plus 15,720. Okay? What do you get when you do that? 
405,000. Now, when you get your tax table, you should always withdraw this 300,000 from there. That's the first thing you must do. Because you cannot... It's okay. I think it's best if we put our mask on. Yeah? It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Let's focus. So before you start, before you use the formula, the 59,000 plus 28%, you must find out what is the amount that exceeds 300,000. So what you did in part A, you subtract first. So this is what we call taxable amount. So you take that 405,830, you subtract 300,000. That's the first thing you do before you use the formula. So you get 105,000. This is the amount that the person must be taxed. Not everything. But what is the formula? So the formula is, if you go back, it must be 59,000, right? Plus 28% of that amount that you've worked out. So it will be 59,000 plus, because you are multiplying, 28% of 105. That is what you need to do. You understand that? You cannot take 28% of um, the whole 405,000. The person will be paying too much tax. He's already, 59,000 is already standing there. He must pay that, whether he likes it or not. But the 28% is of the taxable amount. That means you are supposed to subtract the 300,000 that you get from the formula. Any case, this person is paying 88,632 and 40 cents. Every dollar, every cent counts. There are some people who made mistakes with the dollars and cents, and obviously you are losing marks when you do that. We got it? So those two questions were interesting. Maybe by now you can get rid of the uncertainty when it comes to tax. So first you have all the money, like the allowable deductions, whatever it is, pension or study policies, you subtract from the person's gross salary, right? But what he gets per year. And then you must go back to your tax table and subtract whatever amount is there on that bracket. In this case, it was 300,000 that you were supposed to subtract. And once you have subtracted the 300,000, now that 105,830, that is the 28% that you must find, plus the 59,000. So this is a question that was typically in an exam for grade 11s. You find these type of questions in your paper. Can I move on? Um, when you read, the U stands for what? Universal set. So the universal set is X such that X are all numbers less than 20, but this must be natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? But it goes up to where? Up to 19. So you can't include that. So I'm not going to write that, okay? Because you know what the universal set should be. But when you look at set A, it's a set of M such that M is square numbers, but square numbers less than 20. So the square numbers is 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and 16, okay? Even the way um, Wanda wrote them, she, she wrote, for example, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. Doesn't really matter, okay? As long as we want to see, all right? So set A will be 1, 4, 9, 16. Set B are all the numbers that are even, but they must be less than 20. How do someone get this question? Though? So it must be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and you end. There are some people who went and they squeezed 20 in there, thinking that I won't see it. It says less than 20. So you can't include 20. If if this inequality sign, you see this inequality sign, if there was all equal to here, then you would be including 20. You understand? But it's not included, so you are not supposed to do that. One mark for that. A intersection B. Now, what does A and B share if you look from everything there? 4 and 16. 
So that's the only thing that they share. Again, if you did not put them in curly brackets, you don't get the mark. <coughs> Where's Linda? Is she here? Okay. How much did you get in the test? She got 20. Okay. The union of A and B means everything in A and B must be written. But you are not going to write like 4 twice. And you won't write 16 twice. Are we together? So let's see if you can do it. It's one. Nine also. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. And eighteen. What is not in that union? What is not there? Now you go to back to your universal set, you compare your answer there. What is not there? No, not three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and what else? And nineteen, because nineteen is part of the universal set. It's only twenty that is not there. How can you not see something as big as that? Two circles with a. Of course. So now you are supposed to complete. Now I just want to tell you how I mark this, okay? So the 4 is here. The 16 is here. 1 and 9 is here. Some people, they wrote 4 twice. Here you have 2, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 18. Okay? So for each region, I give you a mark. So these are three regions, okay? So at least if you have all these three regions correct, I would have given you three marks. But you are also supposed to write everything else at this space. 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. It doesn't matter where you write that. So you get, we call it an independent mark for a correct region. So naturally, this was supposed to be like four marks, no? Like the other one. So then it means if you have everything in the outside here of the set, that's one. Everything here where A is, only A, that's another mark. The intersection is another mark and only B is another mark. But I made it three because I expected that you won't be listing some of these things outside. You get that? So that's how the other one was marked. Okay, I move on. <clears throat> how many students study music? So you must add 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2. Are we together? And that is what? Is it 14? Very straightforward. How many students study exactly two subjects? So what you're looking for, you're looking for <coughs> this 3 here, that 4 there, and that 9 there. Those people, they study exactly two subjects. Like these three, they study music and drama. These nine, they study, what is the G? Geography and drama. And these four, they study music and geography. That's exactly two. So you had to add all of them together. So that's nine plus three plus four. This one also, a lot of people got it correctly. But the shading now, horrible. Uh, could you read for me the elements of M? Five. Three. Did you say two? Okay. You do know what this intersection means, what they share, right? Could you read what is not in D? Three. What is not in D, please? Oh, calm down. Five, four, what do they share? What do they share? They share five and four, right? So you are supposed to go shade where five and four is. That means your shading should have been only this region.
that's all that you were supposed to shake. But for some reason, you did not do that. Nobody got that shading right in the whole class. Did you get it right? But he made some lines there. I just decided to give it that mark. He was not sure what he was doing. But again, remember I said shading is just one mark. Okay? Don't waste too much time if you don't get it. So when you, whenever you come across um, this here, you should think of sharing. You get it? Can you shade that part? Good. So B, X is an integer. Integers are all positive whole numbers from 1 to 10. A is even. So numbers that are even are, let's see. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 is included. That will be set A. The intersection of A and B, 4 is an element of the intersection. That means you will write 4 here. And there should only be 1, so that the intersection of A and B should only be 1. So 1, 4 is only there. You get it? All right, so A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So in A, you have to write the others, 2, 6, 8, 10, because 4 is already written. You can't write it again. And then what is not in the union of A and B? So where are you going to write those ones? 1, 7, 9, on the outside. Is there anything else? Now let's go back to set B. Set B, they are saying... You see the universal set is from 1 up to 10. So what is outstanding? 3 and 5. And where are you going to write that 3 and 5? So here you get 4 marks for each correct region. So 1, 7, 9, that's a region. 2, 6, 8, 10, that's another region. So it's another mark. For writing the 4, it's another region. And 3 and 5 is another region. You get it. That's how... You could easily have scooped four marks, but for some reason, we didn't know what we were doing. Ah, no. You have got two. That's what it is. Set B, the elements of set B, what are they? Three? Just because I made this long, didn't mean you must fill it in completely. If I was making it short, then you would have an idea. So you must be smart. Cosmos, where are you? You are here. How much did you get in the test? You got 14. It is the easiest marks we could have scored.